R198. I got my gong and arm ready this week. I get emotional like Vince every time I tape a show. That bit at the end of Raw. There are geeks, nerds, and poindexters talking Mm -hmm. about what a great acting job that was by Hunter. Oh, man. Seriously? That was awful. Please, please do not make me flip my lid again this week. (laughs) This is the 100th straight episode with a Mickey James reference. (laughs) (laughs) The streak started... uh, on the show after our April Fool's Day show, where we pretended to be from 1988. Mm-hmm. That's that's what that's what me and the folks at WrestleCrabRadio.com do. We we find out about tidbits like this. They're great people over at Wrestle WrestleCrabRadio.com. <laughs> to quote Mike Check, uh, fascinating. Should be a new segment. To quote Mike you, Check? You, no. Well, that you, would be a great segment. <laughs> <sighs> I went to Paris. I went to I went to uh I went to Disneyland Paris. Did you yeah. see the, the little Donald Duck ride thing that I had posted? It looked kinda of like a Sibian, didn't it? But oh, what it wow. actually looks like is that he spends the entire day looking at his own crotch. And wow. then, whenever a child sits on this contraption, then it's looking, then Donald is looking at his or her crotch. And then if you put two euro in this thing, it starts bumping and grinding. I guess that's what, I guess that's why, I guess that's what the they think is fun in France. And so I was like, Artie Jr., get up on there. And he looked at it. And I finally got him to sit on it. He immediately covered his crotch. He's only five years old, but he knew Donald was about to do a bad touch. That's good. Yeah, you have you've, you have taught your son about the evils of molestation. I'm very proud. Yes, of you. by by cartoon ducks. Yes. So, uh, King Pedophile probably not very happy right now. Have you seen Captain Crunch Treasures yet? It is the exact same cereal. It's like they got a bunch of King Vitamin on clearance. Yeah. It said, you know what? We could sell more of this if we said it was Captain Crunch. Our old friend, uh, seems our old friend, the big nippled, big nippled vampire is back in the news. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> Bigger round as a dinner plate. But she was supposed to be a guest on our show one time. We had her lined up and everything. We had her lined up. I think we called her. She wasn't there, man. I and I I got a voice message the the next day from her. She was like, "Oh my god, I, I I forgot." Blah blah blah. And we joked around that she had gotten so high that she forgot. Well, Remember? That's not fair. Because that's what that's, that's what it was not about. Very nice. That's no, right. I, that's right. That's right. That's now what it was remember. about. Because that was around the time when when uh, when she was uh, when she was uh, uh, going on about the positives of smoking marijuana. And, and Damien Demento right. um, cut a YouTube yeah. promo on her. So we were going to involve her in the Damien Demento war, but she forgot She forgot to call and her. And we tried to get a hold of her, and we never got her on again. That yeah, was so but, sad, because that would have been the ultimate. Yeah. But, but I, like, if, if we would have had her on, yeah. we would have had to say, hello, this is Shelly Martinez. And that would have just sounded wrong on this show. That is not her name on WrestleCraft Radio. You will, you will be able to figure out the time frame when we are planning on having her on the show because we kind of changed her name. We call her the Big Breast Vampire for a few weeks. <laughs> well, that was very nice. <laughs> kind of like when you when you forced me to clean up her act when Vince around time Vince Russo was planning on coming on. The right. Show. Yeah. We wanted to be on our best behavior. Right. So All she's right. back in the news. Oh yeah, she got a new website. We better go check it out. Should, should we all check on. it out together? <laughs> Shelly. ShellyMartinez.org is... <laughs> oh, boy, that's a fucking bummer. I was ready to see some big nipple. What? <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh! Yeah, dust, I know. Dust, dust off the mothballs! Oh, oh I'm here to read this bit of news about Shawn Michaels discussing his problems with Peter this week. I'll just read the whole lot. Shawn Michaels discussed the new outdoor channel show, Shawn Michaels' McMillan River Adventure. So oh boy, doesn't that sound wonderful to you? Delightful. I like that he limits his adventures to one fucking river. <laughs> During an interview with FoxNews.com, the WWE Hall of Famer justifies his endeavor by saying that he eats what he kills. Mm. A representative for the animal rights group PETA said in response, Jeffrey Dahmer ate everything he killed too, but that didn't justify taking innocent lives. The end. Show. Show's going great this week. <laughs> Our good oh, friend boy. Terry Runnels is back in the news. I've got New Jack on my uh, Facebook page, and he uh, went on a tirade uh, about Terry Runnels saying she um, knowingly spread a sexually transmitted disease throughout the wrestling industry. Oh. He also said she. <laughs> also said she's bipolar and an alcoholic. She says. He said she starts her day by getting up and having a fucking drink in the morning. His test results came back negative. So oh, he gave, okay. He did not get any STDs. <laughs> I think that might have been playing if, uh, if, if Don's grandpa's buddy didn't get any STDs from fucking his horse in that barn. Wait a minute. Who's this? Oh, no. Real quick, while you're playing the Don Mason music, I just want to say this. Um, probably the number two favorite story in this moment in Rest Cup Radio history is when I told the story about Don and his grandpa stumbling upon a, a guy fucking a, his horse in a barn. Number two, Don Mason and Grandpa and Bestiality. Oh, oh. Speaking, of tra- speaking of train wrecks. Who could this be? WrestleCrap Radio. How are you guys doing today? Well, I'm always better when Satan does not call me. You're, you're the evil goat lord. Do they start up at Google Plus? Oh, yes, yes. Well, they're just keeping and you I on the toes. I haven't gotten an invite yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's unfortunate. Do you and Blair remember Gene Snitsky? I remember Gene Snitsky. Of course, he punted a baby. He punted a baby and he didn't brush his teeth. A lethal combination. No. So, I had a very busy week. I bet I got it short. I'm very tired. No, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry we're keeping you up. He seemed a lot happier when he left than when he first got on the show. Like, he just He's... received such pleasure from making people misbehave so badly on I, social I... networking. Sites. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we know what his plan is now, at least. Question of the week this week comes from Dallas James. Says, uh, do any of the 12 listeners have WrestleCrap radio parties? If so, I'd like to attend. I want I want to see video footage of people having a WrestleCrap radio party. Maybe have somebody dress up like Mike Check or Gay Popeye and listen yes. to the show. Yes. Oh, the, I, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes, TNA time. Uh, TNA time here at Russell Crap Radio. Time for the Honky Talk Mailman. He's going to lay some TNA news on us. Sad news. What? There was no mail delivered today. <laughs> by him, by him, uh, you know, not showing up and delivering the mail, 
it only it only uh, adds to his chances of survival. Well, that, there is that. Because you know, obviously, there's a high death rate amongst TNA correspondents. Well, yeah, there is that. Although Mike Mike Check did survive, and so did Peter Gazer. He's Those are the jail. only two. He's in jail Stubby. now. Stubby. I think Stubby. isn't he still in prison? Yes, he uh, according to our canon. Okay, he's still in prison. How long do you go to prison for for not paying child support? Uh, he had like thirty kids. Remember? Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, he, would, he would impregnate a woman in each market, no, he, which, which explained why he would go from market to market to market. That's why he had so many names, because he would hide from the police and hide from his... Apparently, he did play well in many markets. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I hope it's not him. Russell Crap Radio. Hey, door not Dale. Angry Jim. Jim. Jim, been a while. I saw, I saw, I heard your TNA guy didn't show up, and uh, no, nope. there's a bit of news that I can kind of relate to. I figured I'd call in. Oh boy, so it's TNA news with Angry Jim. That's right. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't watch a show because I'd rather watch a, I'd rather watch termites eat some uh, hickory pieces <laughs> than watch TNA. But uh, as you remember that knockout name, Sarita. Sarita, yes, of course. Says here she uh, is feeling the effects of facial paralysis. Oh, that's She's not good. She's a protective mask uh, at, uh, at some show. Oh, okay. Reminds me of the time, reminds me of the time I uh, had my uh, UWF haunted house. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember and I, that. And I donned a Phantom of the Opera mask. <laughs> right. Only I put it on... I put the mask on my nose balls this side. <laughs> really scared the kids. That was right up there with Sting as the Invisible Man. I gotta get out of here. I don't give a shit about TNA. I don't give a shit about your show. Uh, go fuck yourself. Jim! Jim! Wow! <laughs> Amazing. Current wrestling news time oh. here, kids. Of course, you know, this was a big, uh, the big, big weekend where everybody was like, oh, this is, this is gonna be the weekend that changes wrestling history. Yep. Which, by the way, that was my that was apparently my Mike Tyson wrestling uh, Mike Tyson as a wrestling fan impression. Oh man! Now there's an idea for a TNA correspondent. <laughs> this is going to be a weekend we will remember forever. <laughs> this, oh yeah, this has I, this, this has <laughs> legs. Remember the, on the on the crap hole they were asking how wrestling crap radio characters are invented. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, they 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 just happen by accident. Yeah, it's not uh, something we sit there and, and, and plot and scheme. Normally, I mean, I gotta I gotta drink to get through fucking Cena and Orton and all that crap, man. I right? Cannot tolerate it. Vince in salmon suit. <laughs> Goodbye to wrestling. Hello, Chicken of the Sea, 